Yo, what's up guys, it's Freddy's Face and today I'm going to be doing some more building tips and tricks or some little kind of designs that we can kind of do in the new 1.17 update. So obviously I've done one of these before and I didn't want to kind of reuse them so I've kind of tried to keep it as many as I can remember that weren't in the video. Um, so I have a previous video, if anyone hasn't seen that you can go and watch that. Um, it's just kind of videos on the 1.17 of interior design and things uh, building tips and just little tricks that you can do so i've got a few more here that i'm going to show you there's only like just probably a bit over 10 um i mean there looks like it's quite a lot some of them are just similar they're just done a bit differently so i thought i'd show these off for you today hopefully these inspire you and then in the new 1.17 snapshot we've got a lot of new um not new designs coming through with uh which is great because we've got a lot of new blocks and things to use um i haven't actually played around with everything yet but from what i have played around with i'm really looking forward to this new update anyway, let's start off with this First off, we've got a little table here, and this table is a bit weird, and uh, there are more variants of it, but this one literally dips down on the like a plus, and the corners are raised. This will only be so you can place things on it. Uh, it will look weird, though, if you have it like this. Otherwise, you can just have it straight flat, like so, with trapdoors all the way around these lightning rods, um, so you get them all the way around, and uh, they it just looks really nice, except you can't place anything on it, which is the only kind of upside to having the plus mark inside this but then it does look a bit weird with the raised corners so i just gave that another little kind of you know showcase there so you can have a dipped one or a raised one uh there's just a small one here so the four uh lightning rods are kind of next to each other there's just four trap doors the same with the carpet you can have the carpet variant and then we've got carpet here and we've got string underneath so we can kind of make this larger table once again you can't place anything on top of those only the first one uh, that will probably only work for Java anyway because you can only sneak place things in Java by the looks of things um, on top of trapdoors which is kind of an upside to Java I guess uh, but it does kind of suck as well for other versions. Uh, next up I've seen I think I've shown these before it's just putting candles on top of pumpkins and melons giving those little stalks a uh, nice little simple one there for everyone. Uh, some candle designs so we've got the lightning rod uh, flipped upside down and a lightning rod up there candle on top normal lightning rod with a candle uh lightning rod with an end rod and then a candle and it makes it look like an ex extended candle so you could just have an end rod and a candle to make that extended candle got a stone down the middle um this is just kind of just a base we've got a stone here um, I mean, i'm using that for these twisted vines so as you can see here the vines start here and it starts to twist around as it goes up now the way to do this is i'll have to show you because it does get uh, it could be a little bit confusing to explain you place down bo uh, the um, big drip leaf, you get some bone meal, bone meal it, once it's up by one, you break it, then you turn to another angle, place it, bone meal it, break it, and you turn to another angle, place it, bone meal it, break it, and you'll see it will slowly curve, and if you keep doing that and changing the angle by 90 degrees every time, it will start to kind of twist, you can have these twisting vines, which is a nice little touch. Uh, as well, you can use the glue, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, or shall I uh, go with light lichen or lichen uh, and then when you cover that up you can cover it up behind um, redstone or you can cover it up behind some iron or copper and it will look quite different it looks gives it a nice little effect it's kind of the same with the vines you get this vine thing so the vine with the redstone used to look like cherries uh, you can get some more kind of um, you can do a vine as well it looks like some different type of um, fruits uh, so you can do that it looks kind of a bit odd with the lichen um, it does look a bit weird I'm not really sure what you'd use this one for but I'm just throwing that one in there uh, next up we can use the twisted vines it's exactly how I did it here so placing it bone meal it break it then you can use that stalk as like a bush or you can just have the big drip leaf like that with a bush on top and once again you can use the new bushes on top uh, pot simple one so you can get pot some bamboo let's get a pot you place the pot on the bamboo grab a leaf block and you place it on top a lot of people were wondering how i did this before with the fluffy leaves and it's just because i have germs better leaves germs better leaves resource pack on um it gives it fluffiness which just looks a lot better um, so a lot of people are actually wondering how i made this it's simple um it's just like that but it's just the resource pack that makes this look bushy uh, next up you can just have these hanging pots you can really change these there's obviously in 1.17 these are just another few designs uh, you can have chains you know sa sapling pots or bamboo pots just hanging from the ceiling uh, some leaves and things just kind of there supporting it nice little simple one next up you know the simple little birthday cake now we can add one candle to a birthday cake which is great 
There's a little frame there which you could use for like a board and a knife to cut the cake with and obviously a bit of decoration. Nice little simple one there. Chandelier design. Quite a large chandelier here. It's just like a square of fences and you get stick out on each side. Nice little simple one with a chain down the middle. And then we've got another one here which is just an even simpler chandelier design with a bit of chains hanging off the edge to make it look at kind of both old and uh, decaying and destroyed. Uh, not really just decaying and destroyed but it makes it old and creepy. Um, but yeah, and then the arcade machine, this will only work if your candles, when you place your candles, you have to have them facing this way. So it generally only works when you're uh, building this direction or this direction. You can't ever build it in this direction because the, these are classed as the joysticks during the build. And um, they only seem to work facing this way and this way. So it's really up to you. You can only build it in two ways. Um, so you've got those, the copper blocks all kind of weathered down. So you got one, two, three, you got slab on top, trapdoor, trapdoor, sign, trapdoor, trapdoor, a frame, you could put glass on it. I use the glowing frame, you could put glass on it though to make it look like a video game, or you could use a painting if you wish, and then slabs on top. I can't remember where I saw this design, it was from a larger YouTuber, um, and I will actually credit him if I can remember his name. Um, but yes, so this is a nice little touch here, simple one, There's some little arcade machines you can play around with. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these little tips here and um they can kind of help you out on your way i will be bringing out the hardcore series again as a lot of you have requested it from my poll that i put up so yeah thank you guys for the replies and yeah hope you all enjoy and i'll see you soon peace